Hey, everybody. We are live at the Pace Studio in New York right now with Phoebe Ryan. Phoebe Ryan, thank you for being here. Hi, hey. thank you. <laughs> and uh, joining you on keys, Adam Cromelo. Adam, thank you for being here. Adam. Yeah. Yeah, so we are about to hear three songs from the debut album. We're going to hear three from How It Used to Feel, and that yes. comes out shortly. It's coming out uh, in, in the next couple of months, and mm -hmm. uh, thank you for sharing three songs from it with us today. What's coming up first? Uh, so this is the latest single called In Case I Miss You, and uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. All right. Less rock. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sounds great. Phoebe, thanks for coming and doing this. Thank you. Yeah. How do you feel about this arrangement? Is this something that you do on a regular or ever basis? Do it fully stripped back like this? We'll just have this little... Well, we've been in many like hotel lobby bars. Hotel lobby bars. Yeah, doing like... If there's a piano, usually he'll jump on it if we're on tour. But we never really like do the acoustic thing too much. Yeah. Well, but it's fun. I enjoy it. Are I'm you guys enjoying, enjoying it? Dude, very much. Is the yeah. internet enjoying it? The internet is into it. Siobhan wow. Donegan Klein Amazing. is super into it right now. She's sent all sorts of hard Am emojis, I going viral? So, yeah. <laughs> Did <laughs> I start happy. going viral yet? Dude, half the internet is watching right now, and that's a big number. Good for you. Thanks for bringing all these people here today. <laughs> Um, can you talk about, so I mean, you've written a lot of music for some of the most recognizable names in, in music on the planet. Um, can you talk about what makes this collection of songs different? I mean, did you sit down and say, all right, here's a collection clearly for Phoebe Ryan, or were you just writing and writing and writing, and then it 
gradually made sense that these would be your songs or how does that work for you? I definitely like sat down and had the mindset like I am going to write an album now. This is music, not for anyone else. This is for me. This is all of the weird stuff going on inside my brain. And um, it's just super personal. I know that's like cliche. You hear it like, oh, it's like so deeply personal. But it is. I listen to these songs and I'm uncomfortable about it. <laughs> I'm playing the fun ones today. Oh, no, we're playing some dark ones today. Just one. We're playing a dark one today. But the, I don't know, they're, they're personal. They just, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. That's not a cliche thing to say. I mean, these are, these are writing you know. songs that came out of your soul. That makes a lot of sense <laughs> that it would be a, an extremely intensely personal thing. So, yeah. So thank you for sharing that intensely ex and personal experience with the entire Internet right now. The whole Internet is tuned in now. Going so. viral, baby. Good job. Um, <laughs> and there's still two more songs coming up from how it used to feel. What's yes, happening? And I can't remember tonight? the next one. Oh, I do. The next one is the next single that is not out yet. I've literally never played it live. No one has ever heard it. So if you're watching right now, you are watching something very special because I think we got this. I think we can do this. Oh, I haven't learned it yet. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna work on it. It's a song called Talk To Me and it's just uh, basically just about wanting to wring somebody's neck and say like, why are you not opening your heart to me? Makes no sense. Um, that's how I feel about most people. But anyway, this is called Talk To Me. No one's ever heard it before. Here we go, baby. Mm. What do you do with the feelings you have? You bottle them up. So pour me a glass I already know Whatever we had Could go up in smoke Now I wanna drag Tell me your thoughts I'm willing to bet It already got As good as it gets I need you to talk Am I making it clear Even if it's not What I wanna hear I want you to Talk to me Lay it all out on the table Got all this space for Come sit down and talk to me But don't say nothing you don't mean I wanna know what's on your mind Even if it hurts, that's fine I let you lie for way too long The truth's what I've been waiting on I wanna know what's on your mind Even if it's hurt, that's fine Just all of the pain I could keep pushing through or push you away just give me the choice you don't understand cuz you're just a boy and I need a man hey talk to me lay it all out on the table just talk to me that's what we got all this space for come sit
it. <laughs> Yay! Sorry, I should have waited before he was done. I'm like, we did it! <laughs> No, great. That's I'm totally, glad that's in the recording. Forever. Yeah, it's going to be there forever. It's baked in, and it sounds great. You're going to love the Amazing. way that sounds when it's uh, when it's fading out. Um, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we um, so I'm glad that you got to check out a little bit of the uh, the tape vault that you're standing in front of right yes, now. Yes, I asked the, if you had George Jones. Well, I didn't even ask if you had George Jones. I was just saying I love George Jones, and you pulled it right out. So yeah, yeah, from Incredible. George Jones to Genesis, which is important in, in Adam's life as well. Um, <laughs> Very true. Yeah, there's, I mean, you've, you know, Fleetwood Mac and together. Lucinda Williams and Iggy Pop and Loretta Lynn. Why not? I and mean, there's just, there's so much stuff back here. Incredible. Um, and so it tends to be an easy environment to talk about musical influences in. And can you talk about any artist or really, and this is such an open-ended question. If you want to talk about a poet who's influenced you or a beer maker Ooh. who's influenced you or literally anything you say a beer maker i did say that a beer i'm really influenced by natty ice <laughs> <laughs> working on this sponsorship right now bros <laughs> um so obviously yeah like um so obviously like musical influence if you're talking about that i feel like i could give you like 400 answers but we were talking about this before and adam came up with a very good answer which is very it just is me but my musical influences are Britney Spears and Bob Dylan outstanding right and how about- I don't know I could go on and on forever about everybody else but that kind of I feel like that covers a lot it covers a lot a whole lot well, and what a cool experience for you to be able to to work with the people that you admire so much. I don't know if you've written True. anything for Dylan or not, but I have. He hasn't called me yet. <laughs> he has not called me. But the me other yet. half of that he equation to, he is He told true. me he liked the Chainsmokers song I put out, though. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no. Do you think Bob? Dylan... Whoa! I was about to say some real things. The internet would. <laughs> Let's uh, not talk. <laughs> Let's not go there. It would not surprise me in any way if Bob Dylan was a Chainsmokers fan and enjoyed the song that you wrote. Nothing that dude does ever is surprising at all. You're right. He could uh, be a fan. You never know. Yeah. Well, cool. Brittany and Bob, the two Bs. Brittany and Bob. Good. I like that answer a lot. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Thanks again for coming here and doing this. And there is still more music. We're only two thirds of the way through and there's still one more coming up from how it used to feel. What's what's happening third today? Uh, This next song is called Ring and... uh, People on the internet are going to be either very happy that I'm doing it or very mad that I haven't put it out yet. But it's on the album. It's a song that I've been playing live, I think, for maybe almost like two years now. Like longer? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, (laughs) We're working on it, people. Album. Here we go. It's coming out. But this is a song called Ring, and it's um, a very sad song about losing somebody to, um, they just get married to somebody else or, you know, something like that. It's just sad. Love is sad. Okay, let's hit it. You were walking in the park I remember last Sunday You were wearing my old favorite Iron Maiden shirt So happy in her arms Yeah, she was looking perfect Felt like someone stabbed me With an arrow through my heart Some things never change Is it too late now to say No, don't you dare so hard when your life is like a movie and you're just the extra watching her become the star and maybe I'm dumb but I 
always thought someday we were gonna have each other till death do us part. That's uh, that sounded great. Thank you for coming thank and doing you. it, Phoebe. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Um, and best of luck on how it used to feel. It's coming thank out, uh, coming out real soon in the next couple of months. And uh, tour dates are going to be announced real soon as well. Ooh, They'll be yes. up at Phoebe Ryan Official dot com um, at Phoebe Ryan on Instagram. I assume it's at Phoebe Ryan across all the socials. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, yep, you are travel safely between all those dates when uh, <laughs> when they're announced. Please and come back you and too. visit us anytime. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be here in this room. So um, cool. Thanks very much for sharing that music with us today. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.